Instead of buying my wife a Christmas present, I'm going to be spending that money upgrading swords. In order to get stronger and get better swords, I need to punch the air. Nothing says I'm good at wielding a sword, like a good hook to the body. So apparently we're already allowed to grab a first sword. It's not that hard to pull right out of the stone and it's a big one. So who exactly am I supposed to murder with this? This guy? There's a lot of cool swords. I need all of them. For now, we're just going to go nuts swinging a sword and getting stronger. I just clicked whatever this is. It's a four times starter thing, so now I'm getting 22 strength for a swing. Which very quickly put me up to 1000 strength. That means it's time for Heartsbane. Provided we can defeat the red bar, but I think we're up to the task. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a game for toddlers after all, but we're getting 31 strength per swing. And we've just unlocked a new clicking power, so now we're up to 38 strength per swing. I also have enough trophies to pull whatever this thing is, so we're gonna go ahead and open it. We got a pink kitty cat. We have another 5, so we're gonna open one of these also. We got a non-pink kitty cat, but we're up to 155 per click suddenly because we have pets. And I can equip a medium size swing, so now we're up to 186. And because we broke 10,000 strength, it's time for times 7. We're going to enjoy times 7 a lot. We're already up to 14,000 strength, which means we're well past what we need for this sword of essence. This one apparently is hard, but it looks really cool. So we'll go ahead and defeat the red bar quite easily. And now we've got quite a sword. 226 per swing, and we have enough to get a better egg. This one came with a rare husky, and we got a new click power as well. That put us up to almost 500 per swing now, and we can swing this thing fast. That gives us 30,000 strength, uh, but these people here have like 600 billion, so we've got a little ways to go. But there's another clicker upgrade, so we're going up quick. There's 50,000 strength. I just went blindly swinging this sword around because it's actually a lot of fun, and we already have enough for the Kotetsu blade. I'm sure these mean a lot to someone out there. I have no idea. To me, they're just big swords. This one is especially large. And we're getting almost 800 strength per swing, so we're just going to wield it around and around and around. I don't care who it hits. We need 1 million for this guy. Can we fight him now? Oh, we can fight him now. Uh, we have like one sixth of what we need. He murdered us in one swing of the sword, so we've got some work to do. I've been swinging this sword around so much that I didn't even realize we've equipped all the way to times 15 master click. That put us all the way up to 1100 per click. I probably should have rebirthed already because we're at 625 out of 25. Luckily, I can just skip that so that's not wasted. Because as you know, we're, we're all about efficiency here on this channel. Three quick rebirths has put me up to 1500 per swing, so we'll hit that million mark in no time. We're also going to need a few boosts, like two, ta two times shiny chance. And it turns out there's actually a lot of cool stuff we can buy. So it's definitely going to be one of those expensive kind of days. And we've broken 690,000 Excalibur, the final boss. A sword so powerful it glows and it actually puts up a little bit of a fight. This feels better. Yeah, I feel like I'm holding the sun. I'm just sad there's no one I can physically stab with it yet. But I'm still only getting 1500 strength per swing, so I'm going to open up a very expensive egg. We got a green dragon. I'm not satisfied with that, so we're going to open three more of those. That's obviously going to get us something rarer or some kitty cats. So the pets we have now give me like a two times bonus. The dragons get 16 times. So that's put us up to 9000 per swing already. And I feel like we can get lucky to get a legendary pet. A rare desert dragon. I think that means we can actually combine those into a gold, which makes it a 24 times. And now that we've pushed ourselves over 1 million strength, we get to fight this guy. He only has 850,000 power. I could have done this a while ago. I'm going to take his sword and his head. I'm going to make a coffee cup out of it. We've destroyed that guy. And we need 11,000 more wins to go through the bouncy castle. I think we'll just go ahead and have a little uh, rebirth or two. I can't remember how much these things cost, so I don't actually know how much money I'm spending right now. But we've used up all the rebirths we can, giving us 14,000 per swing, so now we just need to get more wins. We can fight him again. I'm at 1.4 million, so I'm much stronger than I was before. And for that, I get 3,200, so I just gotta keep defeating him. Which is pretty easy, because he's basically a toddler compared to me. I did just get a mythic something. Have no idea what that was, but mythic sounds good. And a legendary light dominus piece. Epic, legendary, mythic. I think mythic is the rarest. We just need all the pieces to put something together. No, look at all the rebirth pieces we got. We're just going to go ahead and skip this one. I also have a whole bunch of uh, things I probably should have been claiming before now. We got a gift called Boku. He gives us a 50 times multiplier. And he also glows a little bit. So now we're up to 33,000 per click. That means we can enter the lava world. And to pull the first sword here, we need 9 million. We already have 11, so this is going to be easy. 45,000 per swing. Now let's find some new friends to buy. 
To make sure we're making adequate progress, we're going to get 3 times strength and wins. Luckily I for some reason already had this money sitting here so they can't cancel my card yet. And apparently these multipliers stack so I could buy like 8 of these and be an unstoppable monster. And a 100% shiny chance from pets. It wasn't until then that I saw we can have a 100% emerald chance from pets, but we'll get to that. I guess for now we'll open a blue egg that's very expensive, which is a shiny aqua cat for 66 times multiplier. So now as you swing that around, the text has turned pink, 120,000 per swing. The boss of this is also called a mega boss magma dragon. A few rebirths later, 133,000 per swing. We're headed for a modest 66 million for that sword. Every time we pull out this sword, which we can do quite easily, we also get a lot of trophies. And given that we have a 100% sh shiny chance for pets, we're going to use these trophies to open eggs. We're going to open two of these glowy magma eggs. We got a shiny ghost dog, that's a common, hopefully this one's a mythic rare or something outrageous. Well, that's fine because the ghost dogs are 124 times multiplier, so that put us up to 614,000 per click. We were also gifted a demonic dominus that gives us 200 times, so we're now up to just about a million. But that easily puts us enough to buy the medium sword. And this will give us a lot more trophies, so it's going to bounce us even further at 225,000 wins. Plus I get to wield this giant fruit roll for a while. But we got so many wins now I can open the max level egg of this world. And that's given me a shiny red dominus for 280 times. So that gave us about a 40% increase, 1.4 million per swing. I figured we needed a top up so I just bought 20,000 something robux which I think is about enough to buy a used car in a lot of places. I think we also need a powerful aura to make us feel powerful. And I mean it does look powerful. Uh, we're suddenly up to 23 million per click. I'm not sure what I just bought but I will take those numbers. That means we can also buy the lion's tooth right away with a very easy battle. That gives us over a million wins, so let's just do that a few more times. 26 million per swing, so we're now up to 1 billion strength already. We look so intimidating right now, no one would ever fight us. And at the rate we're swinging, we're going to unlock the next sword very, very soon. But we're also going to open a few new pets because these are all emerald quality now. So let's open another three of those, all emeralds. Those are going to give us more like a 437 times multiplier. And that's for each one of them, so now we're getting 56 million per swing. It's time for Longclaw. We've defeated Longclaw, 6 million wins for that. And that's a nice looking sword also. We now get 65 million per swing. I also didn't realize there's a 2 million dollar egg. Luckily we can automatically open 3 of them. I don't know what those were, but I bet they're good. Just to be sure of that, we're going to defeat Longclaw a few more times so we can open more of those eggs. It only takes a few seconds anyways. 29 million trophies is enough to open a lot of these. We even got a legendary out of that. The rollo now is I have a lot of pets that all look the same, but apparently I can craft a Nova. That gives me a 658 times multiplier. All the pets are giving like a 700 times multiplier at this point, so we're getting was at 104 million per swing. But we need 80 billion for the final boss sword, which is a red glowing thing. So we're gonna give ourselves some extra strength gains, cause these should all stack with each other. So after buying all the stuff I just did, we're now getting 250 million per click. So four clicks gets a billion dollars. So we only have to click 320 times to have enough for the final boss. I maybe wasn't upgrading my cursors as much as I could have been. Uh, so now we're up to 3.3 billion per click. I <laughs> should have done that a while ago. Uh, but that basically instantly gave me what I need to pull the final boss sword and we're going to destroy it. Now we have a big glowing red sword. And we actually had a lot of wins from that, so we're going to go ahead and pull this out a few more times. We're also getting evil pumpkin pieces and pieces of other things, uh, so that's probably going to help us out somehow. Whatever the case, we're up to 3.5 billion every time we swing this sword. 3.5 billion. The world boss is recommended 100 billion, we have 250, so we're going to absolutely destroy him. And we're getting lots of pieces that we can definitely put into something good. Legendary. We got enough of the pieces from him, we can craft evil Loffy, whatever that is. Turns out that's a pet that's not nearly as good as the ones I currently have. I'm also just going to go ahead and buy something called Pro because why not? If I don't know what it is, it's probably got to be good. MVP? Sure. Super lucky? Also something we probably want. I like what she's got a little recommendation thing here that I can just constantly buy because it's serving me whatever I assume I need. Fast swing? We can upgrade our swing power even. And we could probably upgrade this a few times. This is getting very expensive very quickly. Okay, I've just upgraded my swing speed a lot. Yes, now we can go quickly. Look at that strength going up. They recommend 1Q to fight the mega boss. We currently have 2 trillion, so we've got a little ways to go, but not as far as you would think. In fact, we can go ahead and try this now and see how this goes. 
It's got 10 Q, but it destroyed us. Luckily, I come armed with the power of an auto clicker, so we're going to be able to put some strength on very quickly. I'll be back in a minute after I make some coffee. I just realized there's probably a faster way to do this. This costs a thousand Robux, so we better only open three of them. Three OP eggs. This better be good. Yeah, these are good. These are a 6,000 multiplier. They are 10 times better than our current pets. Plus, now I can impress all the children in here with my big spending. We're now getting about 200 billion per click, so 5 clicks equals a trillion. So between the pet power and my ultra speed swing, we're making like a trillion power per second, maybe even more. Just to be sure we could defeat the dragon, we got 50% more strength than we needed. So let's see how strong the mega boss really is. You know, now that I look at it, it says one large Q, I have one small Q, so I might have misjudged this still. Nope, I've defeated the boss. There's also a version it's 150 times stronger, but we'll come back for that one. For now, we'll just beat up the dragon for a bit. Because that gave me 5.4 trillion wins, but I also have puzzle pieces to craft the Cyclops. Which isn't actually as good as the pets I bought, but we do have a Cyclops now. And we can escape that and come to the snow zone. The first thing we're going to do is open a $10 billion egg because we have $7 trillion. So we're going to open three of these to see how good they are. Three legendaries. What are the chances of that? Uh, they definitely have 70,000 times multipliers each. So we're actually going to equip them all. So 2.5 trillion per swing of our sword. Uh, speaking of sword, this first one requires 400 billion, which we can instantly pull. Cataclysm. And then Moonblade requires 1.5 quadrillion, which we have. Uh, we are so far ahead of the curve, we can actually just go ahead and pull all of these swords out instantly. At least up till this big red one that looks very dangerous. The next one requires uh, 20 quadrillion. So that might take us a second to get to, maybe. One thing I can do is buy myself a trail that's going to give myself a 2000% bonus for 1299 Robux. Now we're getting 61 trillion per click. That was a nice boost, plus we're faster than light. Then I need to remember the clicker upgrades. We can already go all the way to the master level, so 2,500 times multiplier. Now we're getting 1.1 quadrillion per click. 1.1 quadrillion every click. The game is actually starting to leg out from this. All it took was like $10,000 to get here. Now we can definitely pull this sword out. This guy takes 2.3 quadrillion to fight. We have 130 of those, so we're going to go ahead and absolutely destroy him. Since we made ourselves so strong already, time to fight this version of the dragon. We need 150, we've got 50% more than we need again, so the dragon is dead. The next dragon is going to require 1.5 sextillion, but with this character, that's probably only going to take 10 minutes. We can already pull the first sword out. It's a giant carrot. Uh, we've also can equip a 7500 clicks so that put us up to 5q per swing, 5 quadrillion per swing. Opening the pets here takes 100 trillion dollars each. So let's open three. We did get a legendary. They're still not as good as the ones I already have, so I think we better also buy three of these. This will cost 3,000 Robux by itself, so this also better be good. Epic, epic, epic kitty cats. I can actually craft these into a Nova though because they're the same as the last one, so this gives me an 80,000 times multiplier. And we just unlocked a new clicker again, 12,000 times, so 9Q per click. That should mean we're getting, yep, definitely better swords. We pulled Doombringer out of this stone. The Ragnarok Sword. Lightbringer's putting up a little bit of a fight. The Nightblade. We cannot defeat the Nightblade yet. But it shouldn't take us too long to get there. We need 35 to pull out the Nightblade. And 60 to defeat him. We currently have 2. Soon to be 3. Turns out we can buy more pet slots. So we're going to smash more pets in there to get more bonus. You can buy a ton of pets as it turns out. Now I just need to find a way to fill this with all the pets of the world. We're going to start by buying these three and then opening a lot of uh, $100 trillion chests. And we're going to get a lot of legendaries out of this. I can feel it. I'm officially more pets than anything. I think those were auto equipping, so that's going to help me out. We got so many of these, we can definitely craft them to Nova, probably a lot. I ran out of money, so I bought another 20,000 something Robux. I just wanted to be sure we were adequately strong. After spending a fortune, we're now getting 41 quadrillion per click. So then we can go back to letting the auto clicker do some work and get unreasonably strong. And just like that, we've got what we need to pull out the night blade, which is the final boss. Now we're at about 50 quadrillion per click, and we're well on our way to defeating that guy. We're swinging this sword so fast, we're probably cutting atoms in the air in half. And there's a 60 we need to fight the world boss, who we're probably easily gonna defeat. Ruined Prince, you got that right. So we have what we need to leave this world into the next, even bigger, better world. This place gets unreasonably hard. I need 10 times the power I have now to get the pencil sword. We have crazy amounts of boost and we're gonna take a minute to get there. 
but we get an upgrade or clicking all the way to here already, 15,500, which puts me up to 70.8 quadrillion per click. After rebirthing a few times, we're up to 105 quadrillion per click, so 10 clicks gets us 1 quintillion, which still isn't fast enough, so we're gonna buy $3,000 pets out of this area. Hopefully they're absolutely and reasonably strong. Well, there is 70 to 60,000 times multiplier. That added a 25% boost to my income and then it crashed the game. Now we're for some reason earning less. But this is what it looks like when you spend an absolute fortune upgrading your swords in Roblox.